And although uh, at official GF Mayer was the the official uh, finder of the statue, apparently the chest was was found by a person named Bradley before the hunt even began because some of the currency uh, was marked. I guess Bradley was here or something, and <laughs> wow. and the USB drive in the the, the chest included a, a text document called Hi, which linked to Bradley's Twitter. <laughs> so Bradley, uh kind of a kind of a chaos entity here because <laughs> Who's like, oh I solved that oh oh Cypher Hunt? You guys are still doing Cypher Hunt? Do you guys want to know the story of Bradley? What's yes. the story oh of Bradley? Bradley? Regale us. Because it's never been told or regale before, but I'm Oh, I'm this is an, a Mystery Shack look back exclusive. Ooh. The tale of Bradley. So you know, this whole thing is a collaboration, uh, but it, it's it's a dance between order and chaos, and it you is. have no idea what's going to happen, and believe it or not, Bill Cipher's statue was found months before we even launched the hunt. Oh my gosh. Really? Um, check this out. I believe it was Mystery of Gravity, or, or Gravity Falls Cipher, our friend, mm -hmm. that mysterious fella who is un aware of all things online, of who alerted me to the fact before we even started that someone had basically what happened was this kid Bradley was just wandering around in the woods that he lives in Reedsport As one he does. saw the Bill Cipher statue never heard of Gravity Falls had no context for it the thing hadn't been launched I don't even know if the show had ended yet at this point and how did he, he know to dig up a USB well, stick well he didn't so here's the thing he took a picture of it and he uploaded it again ages before this thing was even started to a like Reddit like Reddit Unsolved Mysteries, Creepypasta, so X-File. wasn't even dead yet. <laughs> exactly. And he said, hey, I saw this thing in the woods. Does anyone know what this is? And it was a blurry picture, and he didn't ha he wasn't like a, a well-known Redditor, and nobody even saw it. But somehow, oh if I remember wow. correctly, my friend Gravity Falls Cypher reached out to me and said, somebody found this thing. Um, and what I did is, as the voice of God, I... I was like, see if you can get a hold of this guy's email. <laughs> Kidnap him, put him in a van. I emailed him. I said, hey, congratulations, Bradley. But finding this means that you, you've got a prize, but you have to take that picture off, to, off of Reddit immediately. It, it, take the picture off of Reddit, give me a call, and I'll explain. So, and make sure, make sure the USB stick is still there. <laughs> so he, he deleted the image off of Reddit. He called me. I just heard this kid's voice like, hey, what's up? This is Bradley. I was like, Bradley, I think it was like 2 a.m. when I was talking to him. I was like, Bradley? <laughs> Bradley, are you up? You have to meet me at the Twin Pines Mall. <laughs> Bradley, this is very important. And so I, I just said, I was like, Bradley, here's what's up. I've created this big fun treasure hunt and it's it's part of a project for a television series and actually you, amazingly, you found it first and uh, I would love to send you um, some, some Gravity Falls goodies and a uh, hundred bucks. <laughs> and he's like, oh yeah, a hundred bucks. Yeah. Okay. I just have to delete the picture. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All you got to do is delete the picture. And he's like, but wait, so like everyone's going to be hunting for this. So mystery shack, look back exclusive. <laughs> Cypher hunt would not have panned out how it did if Alex Hirsch did not bribe a child yes. <laughs> that yes. he found on Reddit at two in the morning. In the dead of night, I bribed a child and I said like, I'll give you a hundred bucks, you delete the thing. And he's like, he's like, oh, but I'm the one who found it. Like is someone else gonna get at the credit for finding it? I was like, Bradley, you could take credit for being the first one to find it after, after the thing has been located. And so Bradley took it upon himself to and, and he's like, so what's what's there? What are people looking for? I'm like, oh, I've buried a little treasure chest. So Bradley came back, opened up the treasure chest, wrote down Bradley was here, reburied it, deleted it. I sent him a hundred bucks, but he made his he managed to be part of Gravity Falls lore forever. But that's a that's a podcast exclusive. No one so has ever heard of this. That's amazing. amazing. Wow. The tale of Bradley. He just did that himself. He wrote that himself. He just <laughs> decided yes. to, to yes. face. I, I'm imagining oh that Bra one day Bradley will create a cartoon show of his own and Alex will just, you know, from working in that world, be exposed to it and be like, why does that name sound so familiar? It's Bradley. I will, I will try to spoil his uh, treasure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I'll get my hundred bucks back. Yeah, Alex was here. Bucks. This is this podcast is all to say: uh, one, bring back mustard brushes, but two, this is uh, kind of a heist that we're doing. It's called uh, it's called ben Benjamin heist. We're trying to get Alex's hundred dollars back yeah. from Bradley. <laughs> Just give me my cash, Bradley. <laughs> These cyber hunts don't come cheap. <laughs> so kudos to Bradley and kudos to the official Gravity Falls mayor and the the family that found all these treasures. Oh, yes. <laughs>
take me back to the place I know With the mystery shack and the forest gnomes I'm already packed, so come on, let's go Don't get me started, my heart's in gravity falls